to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a haul, girl. And I need to dub this one collective, okay? I uh, did not just go out on a shopping spree. I just kind of like, you know, grazed the shelves and picked up things along the way of the month of May. And so I wanted to share those with you guys. Also, I do have a like voting poll thing about Bobber on my blog spot. A lot of you, or not a lot of you, can't really say a lot, but a few of you did vote that you do like hauls and you enjoy watching them. I'm gonna start off with um, the lashes I actually picked up from Walmart and they are by Salon Perfect. I got a pair in Demi Wispies. I'm obviously wearing them because they're not in the case. And then I also got these more dramatic ones. Um, they're just called number 33 in black. The first shade here is actually called Tease and it's by Pure Ice. You can find these at Walmart for under $2. And it's basically a fuchsia base color with some really pretty blue and purple and even um, kind of pinky shimmers in it. And this is it swatched on the nail color wheel here. These next two bad boys are actually from the from the Forever 21 line, and they're about $2.80 a piece. This first one here is kind of like a really, really light orange. It almost kind of reminds me of macaroni a little bit, and it is this one on the color wheel. This is definitely a really pretty shade for the summer and springtime. This next one here is probably the more darker of the two, and it is a olive gold um, kind of shimmery polish. It is definitely thick in consistency and it's very very metallic and perfect I would think for like going out on the town. This first piece here is actually from Fred Meyers and I got this on sale for I think I want to say maybe 10 bucks is like 50% off and it is a really pretty um, kind of like floral design. It has like these three pastel flowers with a big old pearl and these two low cute butterflies with rhinestones like this on the back and it has a really 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 nice silver chain and it was originally $19.99. This next pair of earrings was also on sale. They were originally $9.99 and then I got them for um, $5.97 and then 60% off of that which I think was like a little under $2.50. They're basically these really cute um, stud earrings right here. They kind of like look like little flowers. They're peach and gold and they're just really 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 cute. Um, perfect for spring and they are by the brand GNW. So these next two pieces are actually by Forever 21 and this one right here is like a really thick gold pimp chain and then it has like a bigger, th uh, then it has thicker like chain detailing down at the bottom here with like this little cream design and it looks like that in the back. And this one was $6.80. A plastic ring with a little bit of a turquoise flower trapped inside. Thought this was really pretty and different. What I like about these rings is that they don't tarnish and they don't make your fingers all itchy and stuff. So I really like picking up plastic rings. Um, this one was $3.80. We're going to go ahead and move on with the clothes. I'm actually, I actually got this tank top yesterday from Forever 21 as well. It was $5.80. It's just kind of like a cut up um, tank kind of. It looks like something that you did yourself. And it also has kind of like a racer back to it. I really like this because it's super, super comfy and, you know, good to lounge around with. Um, I actually got this tank top that's underneath for about 4 no, $5.89. It's like a highlighter pink color and it looks like it's a little too small for me. Um, and I actually picked this one up at Ross. This next piece I actually got from Ross as well and it is a black and kind of like a tannish um, brown color. It has really, really, really nice flowy sleeves and it also has the brown here as well. Um, I thought this was just different. I don't have anything like this, and I really like that it kind of gives you gives you pits some room to breathe. I also got this bad boy weeks ago, and it kind of has like a really really flowy feel to it. I don't own anything like this. What I really like about it is you don't have to really worry about you know people seeing right through and the the peepers looking at your bosoms and whatever. It comes with a attached shirt underneath, and then it also kind of cinches here at the waist. And it, it, the first thing is this kind of like knitted overthrow. Like you can put this on top of tank tops, like I did here. I actually got this tank top. It's a white. Cami, it's basic um, for like $4.99. And then this here was an $8.99. I actually saw Andrea's Choice um, have this exact same top in I think it was white. And it's just something really, really different. It has like the long like tassels here and it's just knitted and it's super pretty. And you can put this on anything and it just kind of spices up the outfit, I think. Last but not least are these little bad things right here. And they are these laced shorts. I actually picked these up at Marshall's. Um, and they were ten dollars on sale. They're originally fourteen, and they're by the brand um, Sans Suki. They look like this. They have like a zipper detailing up the side. They're also really high waisted. I'm not really sure what to pair with this. So if you guys have any ideas on what I could pair these lace shorts with, leave a comment down below. So I've only got three more things to show you guys, and they are two pairs of zapatos and one purse. The first pair are actually from Forever Twenty One, and I have had my sights 
on getting a pair of like nude platform pumps forever just because they are like a staple and they go with absolutely freaking everything not to mention they make my short little stubby legs look a little bit longer so that's always a plus these are in size 8 the price on these were about $19.80 which I think is actually a really really good deal um, the bottoms kind of look like you would definitely be fit on a night out to say the least <laughs> you definitely got to be careful when you walk in these but I really like the fact that they are platform they're really really pretty um, they're also patent leather so they won't really get dirty that much you can wipe them off these next pair are probably out of Jen's comfort zone um, they're actually by Car Carlos I think Carlos Santana are you serious right now he makes shoes weird damn boy got nice style <laughs> shoot and they are these little wedges right here I actually have a few shoes from him and um, he makes really 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 nice designs as you can see I've already worn these um, I think twice and these are an eight and a half they're kind of a little bit too big for me but the original price on these were twenty seven dollars and I think I got them on sale for either twelve or fourteen nevertheless this is a really really good deal and the original 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 price was about I think eighty bucks so this is what they look like they have a nice little wedge to them snake skin oh yeah bringing out my wild side and this is the bottoms Last but not least is this kind of speedy inspired um, Steve Madden bag. Like it has the top handles like a speedy. Um, this one is also kind of like a snake skin finish. It's black. It has um, the purple snake skin. It has a Steve Madden logo here. Also has this really spiffy strap in case you don't want to be, you know, carrying it on your arms like this, which definitely tires me out. So you have a little strap so you can kind of make it like a crossbody bag or over the shoulder, whatever you want to do. Looks like this on the side and on the back. The price for this was $29 and the original price is $98 so I think that's a really really good deal and I actually got this from Ross and also I got those shoes from Ross as well and then it has like a really pretty zipper up top and in the inside it's just kind of black with a few pockets and stuffing so that about wraps it up for this May Collective haul I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you made any recent purchases that you want to share with me in either a video response or even a comment response leave them down below also I'll have some more photos of the things that I purchased on my blog so you guys can get a up close and personal you know detail slash perspective slash I have no idea what I'm saying moving on also don't forget to comment rate subscribe and I will catch you guys on the flip side bye